take a little too, too long, like <clears throat> Tyler was just saying, you know, there was a little bust early on and everything, but, you know, did you find your game in the third and it just wasn't there maybe as much as you wanted in the first? Yeah, we, we talked. I mean, I actually really liked our start. And then they score, and it's like we fell back into the bad habits of, of just oh, now they're coming, now they're making, instead of just pushing back. You know, and that's what disappointed me in that first period is that we started just falling back and letting them attack, and, and we had no no jam in our game at all. So we talked about it in between periods, and I thought we came out with a, well, a lot better effort in the second and third. And that's just how we have to play. That's how we were playing before the break. Uh, we weren't getting the goals, and obviously tonight we've we got to find a way to get more than one. But um, we, any time we ever play like that, teams are just going to manifest their, their game against us even more. And that's what we have to try to negate. And um, you know, I was proud of the guys for riding the ship in the second or third and taking a lot of that game to them. After. What's, What's going it like through your mind you? when you see Jared going up against your brother? I mean, it's just two big boys fighting. <laughs> it's, Tanner's a tough SOB, man. It's So is Marcus, obviously. Those are two two heavyweights in our league now. and you know, It's entertaining for the fans. And, I've, I've seen Marcus do it a ton, and I've seen Tanner do it a ton for our group, and it, it definitely juiced up the guys, obviously, on both sides of the, of the ice. Do you hold your breath, though, as a senior brother? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's never easy or fun to watch, but at the end of the day, it's my teammate over there, so I'm, I'm cheering him on, and uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll discuss that in the summer. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you have memory, do you have memories of being a kid with him doing that? Oh, yeah. I was, I was one getting all the punches in, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then, then there got to a point where he was a lot bigger and the punches hurt a little bit more, so we stopped. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's the way Marcus plays, and that's what Tenor brings to our team. And uh, I think both teams are trying to find emotion in this game tonight, and uh, they did a hell of a job in Tenor, and he's, whew, he threw some bombs. Tonight. After the way your, your last fight ended, did you say there's no way I'm getting in that? No, I would have loved it. It's <laughs> not Martin, maybe somebody else. I tried, but no takers. <laughs> I got plenty of takers. What do you think of Peter tonight? Razik, he was uh, awesome as always. I mean, he's just, he's been so stable back there for us. Just a, a calming presence, the way he reads plays. I mean, that breakaway stop on Kaprizov could have changed the game too. And, you know, he makes a huge save. And you know, just that's what he does. That's what, that's why he's a big part of what we're trying to do here and build and grow. And, um, you know, he's a great guy in the room too. And, you know, we, we play hard. And, and knowing that he's he's battling back there for us and, and has been nice. And what I love about him too is he's really vocal. You know, he does. He directs a lot of traffic back there, and I think it helps our D, helps our forwards, and keeps everybody engaged. Looked like a nice pass from Kershaw. Oh, yeah, he just stayed with it. And, I mean, that's it's nice as a line. Uh, we felt like before the break, we were doing a lot of good things and just weren't weren't getting them across the, the goal line. And you know, today it was it was nice to get that one. But you know, we're we're starting for goals. We, you know, it's just like I'm talking about here. We're we're in the second half of the season where we're going to get teams best because they're pushing for playoffs, and we got to find a way to to give our best too in a lot of those areas and um, expect more of ourselves. Not script to stick more, but just know that we have the ability to score. And, and when we have those opportunities, you got to bear down and put them in because that's what other teams are doing this time. Do you sense guys getting down after those opportunities get missed? Because it's not just one game, right? It's just like kind of like you're getting opportunities, but the breakaways aren't going in and things like that. Is yeah. That uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, every, everybody wants to do well. You want to show well, and you want to, you know, be the, the difference maker in a game. And you know, it's, it's a good sign that guys want it, and you, know, you see that their expression sometimes. But at the end of the day, too, you got to look at the the analytics of it all. And if they're not going in now, that means they're coming. You know, like you know, no one's shooting at that low percentage for as long. You know, it usually evens out. So I always like to look at it that way. I was told that a long time ago. Yeah, okay, maybe you're shooting three percent or four percent, but you're a ten or eleven percent shooter in your career. So. Odds are they're going to start going in in bunches here soon. So that's the kind of mindset we have to have instead of like, oh, here we go again. It's like, no, it's coming. It's coming, right? And and then make it come. Like it's you know, it's it's also not waiting around for it to happen either. So it's it's a fine mindset. It's it's, it's not easy. That's why the greats make it look easy. But you know, it's it's not easy to score in the NHL. But we have guys in here that can do it, and, and we need to start doing it as a group. It's the first up. time you both scored in a regular season game. Is he going to get well, a little? Of that, yeah. Is he going to get a little extra brotherly slap? For the... Yeah, game winner. That sucks. <laughs> so I heard he's got the record right now against me too. So we'll have to fix that. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool, I guess, for our family. Our family's probably happy. I haven't uh, seen anything, but I'm sure they're happy. I'm pissed off, but no, <laughs> no we got the extended family. You talked about mindset before. Are you okay with the body language, like? slamming the stick or Blackwell kind of looking frustrated after that Donato pass or do you think they just need to yeah I mean we are 
that's to me honestly it's fine i i guys care and yeah you in a perfect world you'd like us to swallow our but right now we're just we're trying to build you know and i, I get it guys care they want to make a difference they want to be here they want to be a part of this and, and helping grow this so there's going to be those moments nobody's perfect i mean i've slammed doors and, and you, you end up ha but the only thing is you don't want it to happen too often where now the teams know that you're off your game right like that's you, you're going to show them it's a game of emotion so i have no issues when guys do that it, it's just as long as it doesn't bleed into where now a team kind of sees that and knows they have you and um and now you're giving momentum back to the other team so you know you're going to slam sticks every team does it every guy does it at some point in his career and um we just got to make sure we're channeling our, our aggression and our energy towards things that actually matter